Welcome Ophiosis. This is uh, the Pisces season, Ophiosis, and in the spicy season, um, it is going from February 19 until the 20th of March. I want to say thank you for being here, Ophiosis, and for the wonderful um, support. Um, Ophiosis, remember to share these uh, reading with people who were born November 29 until December 17. I want to say thank you. I'm sorry, guys. I'm going to close the window. It's freezing cold outside. Um, so um, I want to say thank you so much for um, supporting my channel. Please remember, Ophiosis, you need to watch your own reading and then go back and look at what is coming up for the Sagittarian. Look at week by week. These are not monthly readings. They are season reading. Now we're moving in the season of uh, Pisces. I wanted to say welcome to each and every person. Uh, welcome newcomers. I hope you subscribe and stay. Thank you so much for all my uh, all subscribers and for my VIP members. Those are the ones that subscribe and get extra reading. Thanks to my VIP members. I really appreciate this. So, obviousness. Let's look at your layout of the land for this uh, Pisces season. We see the Wheel of Fortune, which is wonderful, okay? That is 10 and 8 is 18 and 9, that is 27, okay? Now, um, the energy of 9, a cycle is going to be completed in your career or work life. Now, when we say a cycle is completing, is that someone is leaving. Someone you were having some sort of a situation, problems with, I see an Aquarian, Gemini, or a Libra person is going to be leaving. Someone from the past that has created some sort of issues, some sort of a, um, person who have used their powers in the wrong way. I see a cycle is here for this person. People are not recognizing who this person is. It could have been a supervisor. It could have been a manager. It could have been um, someone who were um, supporting you and they recognize that they have used their powers in the wrong way and they're taking this uh, power struggle back from this person. So when we look at the Wheel of Fortune, um, ladies and gentlemen, it's about fortune. Fortune is on your side. Whatever is happening in transpired ophiosis, um, fortune is coming in for you in this Pisces season. And the thing about this Pisces season, um, Pisces and you ophiosis share the same house of Neptune, okay? The same house of uh, Cryon. Crying is about healing. Crying is about coming in and helping and releasing people from your life that has been creating a whole lot of chaos, okay? And you have a lucky, you are the only one that has the um, energy of uh, the luck, the wheel of fortune. And you are recognizing that um, what has happened and transpired is that your luck is coming back. When you look at all your cards, they're all upright. Um, you know, if you have Leo in your um, moon rising, go look at the Leos. All their energies was down, okay? Uh, Aries, your sister sign, and the Leos, all their energies was down. Um, Sagittarian, also all their energies was down. And this is why I do element reading so that people can recognize uh, who you're connected to in the elements and that sort of a situation. Now, what we're seeing for you guys is that there was some sort of... Uh, unfair games that was played in the past and i see they're now recognizing so there was situation on the work floor where people have used their powers or it could have been people tried to use their powers against you uh, in order to get so, their ways in uh, so many ways so we we see in the first week we have uh, jupiter jupiter is about luck luck is here for you sagittarian and your uh, luck is here because they're recognizing some sort of a foul play with an um, Aquarian, Gemini, or Libran. They recognize that an Aquarian, Gemini, or Libran woman has created some sort of a foul play, and they're ending it. So an end is going to be coming in for this lady. So who is this lady? And how this lady affects your life is how you're going to be looking at it. Because this lady has been blocking the flow of your prosperity and abundance because Jupiter is here and is returning for you, Sagittarian. So we got to recognize, because when we see the energy of nine, nine and eight is 17, okay? 
and uh, 17 and, and, and 10 is 27. Um, 27 is 9. So you have 27, 9 in this period, 27, 9 in this period. So what we're looking at is that an end is coming to some sort of a, a situation. An end is coming up for an Aquarian, Gemini or Libra person because they recognize the play of this lady and what this lady has been doing and how this lady has used her power in whatever way in order to manipulate it, a situation. And they're now recognizing who this person is. So it could be someone in personal office, uh, personal office or in the legal um, department at your company that this person used their powers in the wrong way and got the company in more problems. And they're going to be recognizing this and you're going to be releasing yourself from this person and their association with your company or your business or um the the you know your workplace so it's you know you Sagittarian is coming in and is recognizing the horrible play that has happened and transpired and how people use their powers in the wrong way and whoever this person is was wrong to access and do something that is bringing a lot of you um whether on the work floor or whether in business in um, you know, between the rock and a hard place and you're going to be disassociating yourself from this person in business and is going to be walking away. So this is absolutely powerful. There's no question about this. This is so powerful because you're now accelerating and moving forward and recognizing, hey, this is what it is. And I see your luck is going to be returned because this person is going to be moving out of your life. So let's look at the first week. The week is from the 19th of February until the 28th of February. Your luck, you're going to be very lucky Sagittarian. And if you have Sagittarian in your birth sign, um, uh, Ophiosis, you're, you have luck. And, you know, this luck is very powerful because what is transpiring is that this Wheel of Fortune is bringing back things, moment, situation back to you that was off case, that was off balance, and people are now recognizing what was happening and what was transpiring. Then we see the energy. This is a, just a lucky week. So overall, it's going to be a lucky week. Whether you're a business person with career, with exam, whatever it is, 19 until 20. 9th of February is your sweetest, sweetest um, days. Remember this. This is uh, um, so write this down. Your sweetest, sweetest um, dates. Your sweet dates are going to be um, the 19th of February until the 28th. As we move on, we are seeing um, this um, Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra person. Whoever this person is, uh, came is using has used their powers in the wrong way, and I see they're pulling this down. I see they're really pulling this down because they're recognizing what an Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra woman have done. Now it can be young or old person because they're coming up, and it can be someone who used the energy of an Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra. If you recognize she have an ed, um, someone ed in her, in her right hand and uh, the sword in the left. So obviously she's not on a positive, uh, she's not moving in positivity, okay? Because uh, uh, she could be also left-handed. She took someone ed off in the past and now they recognize what they have done, what this person have done is as if she they she de um de manipulate a situation in the past and people are now recognizing what she have done and now they're resetting the ball in the role so you know whatever this person have done they have done something um through using their powers in the wrong way and they're taking this person down so it could be a personal officer it could be a notary notary public person it could be a um, people that has been, um, you know, using their powers in unconventional way, and they're going to be uh, stopping this person. So, first of March until the seventh of March, you're going to be recognizing that someone has, you know, really used their powers in the wrong way. Uh, whoever this person is, and I see an end is going to be coming in because they recognize that this person have worked with other people in order to create some sort of a, um. Uh, deceptive move and play so that uh, um, a situation did move forward in order this person wanted to block something from you ophiosis and um, the law is coming in and said no we are blocking you there is an end to your career because of what you have done and what you have created in this person's life 
So, you know, you know, get ready, um, Sagittarian, because this, um, Aquarian Gemini, get ready, Ophiosis, because this Aquarian Gemini or Libra person, you're going to be finding out as you move to the next week, the week of uh, the 8th until the 14th that this person is leaving the corporation institution, okay? So, I see, um, sadness for this person. I see people are putting the puzzle together and recognizing that this pe this person has used their powers in the wrong way in order to accept and get information and data. I've used this person in the wrong way and they're recognizing who this person is and how this person have, um, uh, have, have intercept or um, manipulate a situation by getting someone to sign into something in order to get some sort of a reference information and they recognize that this woman is the plan and this woman was the mastermind that this woman took a lot of you Sagittarian uh Ophiosis there's something about Sagittarian ladies and gentlemen let's uh stop and see what they want to say oh so all right so what they're saying is that uh, a Sagittarian has uh, um, got this uh, Aries Leo or Sagittarius, uh, Aquarian Gemini or Libra person to do something that was not above water. And I see that they're going to be a fire in this Aquarian Gemini or Libra. It's as if this woman was paid to access or created some sort of a situation. And this woman is now going to be fired because a Sagittarian was behind this woman um, creating an act of uh, perjury. Okay, it can be perjury. It can be an act of, uh, um, you know, uh, espionage, uh, putting camera on someone's computer and watching them, accessing data from someone's computer, putting software on someone's computer in order to have um, some, uh, getting, um, you know, calling up people and said, hey, um, you're applying for a job, but just to get their information and their data and um, references and that sort of a thing. And that's how they recognize that this woman, a uh, Sagittarian, was the one who pushed this woman um, to do this. And they're going to be ending this woman contract because now they're putting the puzzle together and recognizing that this Aquarian, Gemini or Libra did not do whatever they do on their own. Um, I think that this lady could be giving up the Sagittarian and letting the Sagittarian recognize uh, and letting people recognize I didn't do this on my own. A Sagittarian, either the Sagittarian is our boss or um, someone who used her to, um, to you know, bend the rules and do something out of the norm. And they're going to be recognizing that a Sagittarian, because she's going to be saying it, but they're still going to be ending her contract because of what... Uh, um she has created and what could have affect another person um for what she has done so it is a situation ladies and gentlemen where and as you get to the last week where you see the energy of the hermit and the hermit energy is a, a co associated with the pisces okay it's about shedding light on information so um they are now recognizing because it's as if um, the hermit comes in and is saying, hey, listen, this is the person who um, got this person to sign this contract and get a contract. And the reference was passed through this person computer. Here we are finding the data and they're going to be putting the passes together and recognizing. So it could be you, Ophiosis, um, investigating and seeing that uh, an Aquarian Gemini or Libran was connected by a Sagittarian who asked her and they are seeing information and communication via mail within these two people and recognizing what these two people have conjured up together. And I see that they are going to be in because this lady is going to be losing her job. Not only her job, but her career is on the line because of she um, being used by a Sagittarian in order to create some sort of an unconventional thing. All right, opiosis, we get to the end. And uh, in order for you to know how to deal with it and how is it going to affect uh, this spicy season is go going to affect you guys individually, you have to use 
um, the link or the blue button that says join in order to get to the second subscription under the second subscription. That is where you will find the season reading. And I want to say again to my VIPs, you know who you are. Thank you so much. Um, leave a message. Let me know how have you know, being a VIP, how has the information affect you guys? I do really do love you guys. I'm going to be doing um something soon for you guys. And I'm saying namaste until next time. Um, Please show your love by thumbs up, thumbs up. If you can't do anything else, you don't have any time to leave a message. Thumbs up. I will be appreciating that. Namaste.